Bongos. Hello and uh, yeah, thanks. Anyway, I'm gonna go into the recap real fast. So when last we left off, Oni had told us go to go retrieve a package in a canyon near Canyon Town. Um, so we went to go and get said package. When we arrived to uh, when we arrived at the package, we had found that it was open and whatever it was containing was missing. Um, we see, pa uh, oh my gosh, we see a trail like warthog tires headed off in the direction of Canyon Town. So we head there. Cut to us arriving there and speaking with the UNSC representative, a man named Benson, who told us that there were some bad guys who were miners in the town. Not really believing him, we still went to go and check on them just because it was the only lead we had. They seem to be all right, so we headed back out of their little building. Uh, before, before that, though, Ryan had told us that he had left. I sent Jack to go after and tail him, and I went into the building, barely succeeding a test by one single number, woohoo, and discovered that he had the smart AI that we were looking for. I informed Oni of this, and Oni told us to capture or kill him. With that said, no, I they just have to kill him. Ryan they don't care. They they want him. They want him dead. With that, I gave Ryan the order to fire on him. Ryan popped his tire, and Jack is now approaching him. That is where we left off. All right, so we open up immediately upon the fiery smoke of the warthog crash into the canyon side. Jack, you yeah. see, you see, you can see Franz on like the the passenger seat get out of the car. And he, like, demagnetizes his shotgun from his back. Put the gun down right now. I don't want to shoot you, but I will if I need to. You can hear him shouting in, like, German. Very, like, loud and angry German. If you're going to cuss me out, please do so in English. Um, you don't hear a response. That was... They're, so they're, no they're standing there and they're just standing No, they're standing behind cover. They're waiting for you to come at him. Oh, okay. Are they still in the Warhog? Though? No, uh, Franz got out, but but you can't. Benson still looks kind of unconscious in the car. Gotcha. Um. Does James have. James, do you have sight on the. Uh, on Franz? Franz? Yeah, Franz. Uh, James and Rozu, or... Who's, who's, who's James? James I don't know who he, yeah, Ryan. Yeah, Ryan. Ryan. Yes. I'm not Rozu and... Okay. And we did establish that, uh, and for viewers, we did establish that Rozu was with Ryan. Yes. And Beatrice is with So you guys, you guys have sight on, uh, where Franz is? Like, where yes. he's hiding behind cover? Um... Are we on the side that we can see? Yeah, you can you guys can see frowns from your like, side, like. But he is um, like he's behind are we on like this side, so, basically. So what? I, I yeah, you're on that side. I'm saying. I, so we're like over here somewhere. Yes. Okay. Uh, over this way. Yeah. I'm not seeing his pants. Are you on the right layer? Are you on the right layer? Oh. Uh, no, I mean, I mean, uh, not, not, I mean, I mean, is Ryan on the right layer? If he's on the GM layer, they can't see it, besides me. Oh, that okay. way. Okay. That way. Gotcha. Way over that side. Oh, so you guys have a perfect sight on him if he's going... Or Apparently. If he's yeah, he, yeah, you guys are that way. <laughs> but he does, so, okay. Rosie. Ba. Do you want to make a spot check and give me a yes, cool shot I to his will. weapon? Full, I will full action basically spot check, so I have to roll a perception test. Uh, for every degree of success, he gets an extra degree plus of 10. success. Yeah, that's what I just said. Okay. What you talk about? What you talk about, Willis? Uh, anyway. Talk about Willis. Damn, that's old ass reference. I'm old. You're an old ass reference. <laughs> I am. Um. 
under. I think that's the way to do it, if I remember correctly. So, okay, I rolled a fucking 11. That's one so degree that's of success. Four degrees. Oh yeah, four degrees. I'm, I'm, I'm really smart. Yeah, four degrees. So you get yes, plus I, 40. I, I okay. Damn. So I would like to make my cold shot to... Um, yeah, to his shotgun, basically. <laughs> Just shoot it out of his hands, I guess. Or destroy the weapon, make him drop it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and uh, roll. Um, It'll be at and minus or plus forty, and then and yeah, any yeah. negative modifiers to that? Yeah, I'm just gonna check. I think sh uh, cold shots do weapons are minus thirty five. I think they're minus thirty five. Yeah, we can check the book um, real fast. Yeah, it's very bad to uh, <laughs> that I target someone's weapon. So not the same for his like arm or something or his hand. Or is that just equally as difficult? Uh um. I don't want to destroy his hand, that's the thing. Um, taking a weapon against weaponry is at minus 40, large weaponry is a minus 20. So this is a standard, so minus 40, that would be minus 20. Okay. Yeah, so minus 20. Um, I need to just drag my token onto the... So oh yeah, go ahead and just put it on the bottom left. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, there you so go. I'll, I'll resize you for accuracy. So let's see. So I got the plus 40. Yeah. From Rosu, um, that plus that semi. He's using like a. Let me just see what shotgun he's using. All fast. He's using the. He's using the the M the M ninety shotgun right now. He's so tiny. Okay. So yeah, that's plus forty, plus five from the half aim. Because I I will say I haven't had full time to aim. I'm just do, you know doing a quick move yeah. and a shot. So. That'll be plus 10 in total because of the scope. Yeah, then plus 10 from the semi. And um, minus 20 from the cold shots. Oh, yeah. Oh, dang, I'm not 10 anymore. That's plus... I don't even... Six. Is it loaded? Plus, yeah, that's plus 40 in total. Oh, my internet must be being weird right now. I don't see it. Are I haven't made the roll yet. Oh, okay. Oh, I rolled a 76, though, so it's good I got those bonuses. Yeah, uh, so 30 degrees of success. Um, um, yes. He's gonna try to make an evasion roll. Oh, okay. Actually, no, he can't, because he doesn't even know you're there. Yeah, so you, you, I'm just gonna let you hit, since he doesn't even know you're there. Okay. You know what I mean? Sure. Like, it's kind of... Going... Yeah? Is this going to break his weapon, or is it just gonna knock it out of his hand? I assume break. Okay. I can roll for damage on the weapon. Huh? Yeah, yeah I, I can roll. Have something like 30 break points. Hold on, let me check it. Dun, dun, dun. This is just to see. I I would imagine that um. It will drop it. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, he's using the M90 right now. Shotgun. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but all weapons only have a certain amount, like all of weapons of a certain Either way, I would imagine that I've done significant damage to the point it's either yeah, useless or it's it. dropped. It's broken in half, right? It's probably, it's how it's probably broken into four. But... Look, works for me. Cheers for the spot, Rosu. Alright, uh, so, now what? Um, I, I don't think I'd need to call it in to Jack. He would see the weapon, probably. Yeah, you, um, you like, so Jack... the guy's hand. So Jack, as as you, uh, like, kind of wait, you can see, like, a, you hear the, the distant, like, sniper rifle s sound effect. And suddenly, you can hear, like, Franz cursing very loudly in German as a gun kind of, like, flies off and, like... Off in the air. Uh, you see, you see uh, Benson begin to like crawl out of the car, like the driver's seat. Mm -hmm. Like he looks pretty bad. Like he's like crawling like with his arms towards the cliff edge. All right, I'm I'm just moving up. Um, All right. I'm willing to keep a decent distance away. Uh, take out my my plasma rifle and I'm gonna aim it at Benson. 
I would suggest just standing there. You're in no condition to rock climb right now. So, okay. Um, make a... Hmm. Let me see what check out this speed. Because he is trying to jump off right now. Um, what's good with that be? Let's say that... that make that make a appeal check. Alright, I got a 37. Yeah. <laughs> This isn't going to be good. Is it? Just remember what I've done. You can do it. You've, you've got this, Jack. You, you're the most charismatic person I know. Look at that. <laughs> nice. And that was actually that's actually uh. Wow. A thirty-seven. Not a not a thirty-seven. Not a you see, so as at, yeah, so you speak to him. He's like he like kind of crawls towards like uh like the side of a rock and like lays there. Um, Jack, do you still have any communications, like, with the UNSC, as in, like, any devices specifically from the UNSC? Like, um, as in some way for, way for them to contact you? I got rid of all of those, I think, during my... Yeah, your radio was trashed, you ditched that ages ago. Okay. And unless I got anything else on the, uh, ship, then... Uh, it's up to you if you wanted to or not, but I don't think you would have, and if you... I if mean, you're... how have we been talking to you? Yeah, that's true. I would imagine you would have at least picked up a new radio. Yeah. So on the radio, you get a, you get a response from, or you get, you get a statement from, like UNSC command on the out of the ashes. You were not to fire upon him. Arrest him immediately. Disregard all commands from Oni. What was that? Uh, he said disregard all. What? I think they said to fire on him. No, they said they said don't fire on him. Stop don't resisting. Okay. They, they said, said don't part, uh, cut out. Oh, shit. They, they uh. said this Oni. So you know, said, don't fire upon him. Arrest him. Discard what Oni says. Anything Oni says. Ignore uh, Oni. Yes, thumbs up. Well, it's your lucky day, uh, Benson. You should probably tell Franz to not, uh, you know, attack me. And how loud are you speaking? Uh, relatively loud, loud enough that he can hear me. Okay, uh, so Rozu and Ryan, you see Franz begin to pull out a magnum. Whoops. Uh, you're about to give <sighs> So I'm going, he's, Ryan, he pull, pulls out. done. So as, but, he takes it out, and he's going to make an attack, not at you, Rozu, but at Benson. He's going to, like, he goes above, oh, like, what? he goes above... The warthog, and takes out a magnum. It takes out the magnum and sh fires a shot. I'll let you. I'll roll like, make a. This is not gonna be an attack test, but make like uh, some sort of like. Let me see. Make a minus thirty perception check, Rozu. Both of us, or just Rozu? Just Rozu. And actually, yeah, you too as you as well, Ryan. Okay. Did I also roll perception check? Yes, you can. Yes, that's that's a that's a good point. Yes, Jack, you should. And then after this, we'll go back to the village and see what happens there. Cool. Ooh, no. Oh. Hey. This is like not for. S okay, so it's minus thirty, oh, by the way. Ninety-eight. It's minus thirty, by the way. So Ragnarok can or. Oh, it is. Rose, you can bad. see. It. Yeah. So, uh, so you don't. So I think I think only Ragnarok or God, sorry, Rose only sees Rose. this. Yeah, I know it's Rosie. I just kind of, I keep calling him by the character name because I'm used or the the NPC, the the handle name. So Rosu, you're the only one that's able to react to this in time. What do you want to do? Rosu, <laughs> you're muted if you're trying to talk. Oh yes, I I was. Um, can I just shoot him? I guess. Maybe. Yes, you can. You can, but it's gonna be at minus. It's gonna be negative twenty. Because he's he's really fast about this. Um, Franz is an undercover Oni agent. Yeah, that's my guess too. Hold on. I ha I have to go remember character stuff. Give me one second. That's fine, man. Uh, uh, so, uh it was this one. So. Uh. 
I, I should ask, like, what is this considered? Is this just like a reaction where I'm just shooting? Is that it? Yeah, yeah, it's a reaction where you're just shooting. Okay, so I don't have a chance to do anything else. This is just flat minus 20. You said, yeah, right? flat minus 20. Are you, Ooh, what, what, with any, if you have any modifiers, though, he's targeting, uh, like, I'll let you do a cold shot, but it'll just it'll only add more to your negative. Well, no, I'm not trying to target it. Yeah, that's what. That's why I was asking if this is just like a reaction or. If yeah, I, yeah, it's just a reaction. Is this like is this like a turn, like a singular turn? Or yes, it is. That's what I'm reaction. saying. It's a singular turn reaction. Okay. I think, I think I'm so confused, but I I I can work with this. Uh, you just use a reaction in place of if it was a normal turn, but they're not using a turn order because yes. narrative. Yes. Um. So it would be. Sorry, I'm try I'm trying to remember stuff, but uh, I don't think I have anything actually. So I think it's literally just minus twenty. Oh yeah. Because I, I don't have an I don't have the chance to do an aim action or anything, so it's just me shooting. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, just do it. Ooh. So as as you fire. One thing. You you suddenly like. That. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Look it then. Are you gonna burn wait, it or wait, spend wait, it? That that make we roll with a plus ten. Yeah. Uh, spend it. So okay. I'm re rolling with plus ten. Oh, fuck. Still a failure. You rolled an eighty six and then a seventy four. Damn. Right. Oh, shit. So, you see, you see, um, you see Franz about to take out his pistol, and you're the only one that's that's able to like notice that he's taking out the pistol from like the other side, like his um. Didn't Richard also pass? No, he didn't. He didn't. So he didn't account for his uh. Oh. Yep. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Um, so, you're unable to react, like, you shoot him, but it just hits the side, like, you shoot at him, but it hits the side of the warthog, and you see the warthog, like, like, dent, and Franz gets on top of the, like, not, like, kind of, like, rests his arm above it, and fires right into, um, like, aiming at the head of, um, of Benson. Motherfucker. Jack. <laughs> Save the president. Oh shit. Get down, Mr. President. <laughs> yes. Do it. Somehow. So, his pistol clicks as soon as he fires, and then it suddenly fires a discharge shot like into like the, the canyon over there. He then like kind of dashes into cover. Let's start initiative turn order, I guess. You're a shit shot, my friend. He couldn't shoot some memory. Yay! I, I, I'm just kind of glad I didn't fuck it up for all of us by missing that. <laughs> you Here, let's roll initiative, guys. Let me get the turner out real quick. Okay. Boop. I don't know why I'm, I'm Don't forget to click on your. Don't forget to click on your mini. Okay. You forgot to click on your mini again. Here, I'll just add you in there. I can do it. No, I got I got you in it. I got you in it, don't worry. Yeah, but Beatrice, if you want, you can enter in because Jack or not Jack, you and Mateo can hear about this over squad comms and I'll let you guys join in. It'll just take us a little, little, a little bit to get there, but Yeah. Uh, wow, that was classic. Alright. Okay, that works. So, Ryan, it's your turn. Um currently he's out of sight. Oh, okay. For for you at least, because he dashed into cover. Like he's out of line. Of, you know where he is, but he's just out of line of sight. Hmm. So I'm gonna bounce a shot off the wall. Oh, no. oh man. I mean, Rick. technically it's possible. Yeah. It's just very it... hard. Use the dent that Rosie made in the warthog. It's bounce genius. <laughs> I'll take him. <laughs> Here. It'll probably be like a negative sixty. I mean, uh, firing on someone that you can't see is a minus. Yeah, I know. Thirty. No, when using that would be I'd call it blind fire, and that's a minus sixty. I'm kidding. I'm not going to bounce a bullet. <laughs> that would be stupid. It would be also be fucking great because in game, uh, Halo snipers will actually do that. Yeah, I know. Uh, well. So Ryan, what do you want to do? Um, I might actually delay my turn. Okay. Um, you're, you're gonna just gonna how? shoot when he comes out, I guess. Yeah. Does the delay put you to the end of the turn order, or does it? I think that's. I th I think so. Let's check. 
action. It puts, delay action. You, it puts you where you want to go. Delay action before your next turn. Take any half action. Ah, uh, okay. So you can like you can do a um a sh like a normal. It's kind of yeah. like taking action in D and D to where like yeah. I'm you waiting can... till this guy does this. As soon as he does that, I'm on top of it. Yeah. So you yes. can make a you can make a a blind fire. Oh, no, that's not it. Uh, um, you can make no, your normal. I'm... Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Uh... Delay my actions. So that's, I'll take a half action at some point. Probably when the guy. Oh, yeah. Assumingly, when the guy comes out of cover. Hoping he does. Okay, so now it's Jack's turn. Unless you want to do anything else. Actually, All yeah. Right. So, is there an action, like a specific action I could do to, uh, to like, shield someone? Uh. Oh, boy. I don't. You can guard. Can guard or can you guard? No. Uh, I actually don't know. It doesn't look like I it. Pause it. Just make it up that you just cover him with your. Yeah, body. that's fine. Like, yeah, like you do have the shield, right? Yeah, he yeah, does. Do yeah, I'll just, I'll just say narrative. Like, you go in front of him, then like turn on the shield, then just like and block the bullets from him. All right. So uh, do you do Benson, that? I would suggest not. Yep. Benson, I would suggest not shifting around uh, while this is going on. It's obvious that Franz isn't too happy with you for some reason. You look at Benson as you say that, and you notice that he actually his jaw is like unhinged from his his mouth. Yeah. Like oh, broken. Like broken. Like he can't uh, talk. Huh. Back. Hey, what's up? And you can tell like his legs look mangled. And like destroyed by like shrapnel, like there's blood just if profusely. Had a medic. <laughs> All right. I mean, you do. It is now I mean, Franz's turn. He is going to also in narrative. Let's say the shotgun's like at this X right here. I assume narrative. it's broken though. It is broken, uh, yeah. But he might. He did uh, uh... forty two damage. Yeah. Forty two. He... So Don't... human breakpoints come with two hundred. Um, at a hundred, a hundred and below, the weapon is damaged and takes longer to reload, doubling the base reload time to He's hit, and to aim actions are at a negative ten penalty. Which, which page is this? Uh, ninety on the actual book, um, ninety-six in PDF. Okay. Okay. So, what France is gonna do, he's gonna say, we can all go home if you hand him over. You shut the fuck up. And under whose authority are you asking this for? Uh. Oh, he says Oni Section Zero. With no accent. Really? Oh God. <laughs> he chimes in. I don't know, man. I like the order they said. Uh, fuck that. I'm sorry, but last time I checked, I was a UNSC Marine, not an Oni Marine. So I'm going to follow what the UNSC told me to do. Um, he's going to, he's going to hide in, like, kind of like, move around the cover. And also, by the way, these are just rolling rocks. So, like, they have a point value of, let me just check the book real quick. Yeah, they just have like a point value of like what, uh, twenty four cover okay. points. Okay. So that, like they're like not that that hard to break. He's gonna pick up his shotgun. And he's gonna throw it at me like a spear. Did we decide that? Wait, wait. Remind me. Did we decide it that? Would be functioning. Uh, yeah. Just have a negative ten to. To hit. Anything with it, and uh, the reload would be doubled. Okay, he's going to. He spent so he's going to spend half action aiming, so it'd be negative five. And are, am I in kill range in this with a shotgun or kill zone or whatever? Let me check. Uh, let's see how close Who are you are shooting at. Uh, I'm shooting at. You're, I think you're just out. Oh damn! Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jack. I just had to follow the rules. If you die, I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, no, you're good. And don't you have a shield on? Yeah. Yeah, so you're good. I think he's out of kill range, too. Yeah, I think I'm out of... Isn't kill range, like, uh, six or seven? 
I'm not. Um, what shotgun is it? It's, it's the M M90. If you look at the close range, the close range, which is 10 plus meters five. for every shotgun. So yeah, you are actually within close. Okay, so I'm. So it'd be so it's certainly currently the modifier is zero since he half aimed and then he is in within close Point range. Blank. Uh, so you have a another D10, but not plus two because you're not blanking him. Okay, so I'm going to roll. This is like a this is gonna be a flat zero modifier. So he's going to roll. Let's see if he hits. He's probably gonna miss. Oh well, that. Uh, that's a zero. Uh, yeah, he, he went. 45 out of 47. So. Yeah. So you can try evading uh, that, but that is going to move you out of the way of Jen, uh, Benson. Uh, the mission comes first, so no. Okay. I mean, uh, you, you have a shield. Yeah, he does have a shield. So but how you many? Have a shield. Yeah. So this is an extra D10 damage, and the modifier so damage the, modifier. Yeah. Uh, the close shield range. has an integrity of 110. Okay. So he's going to shoot at you, and the modifier, I can just add, like, what? Nothing to it's it? Or? One, uh, just it's type D10 in the modifier for damage. Okay. And then Pierce modifier, I assume, is zero? Um, I don't think it gains any... No Pierce so. modifier. Okay. Shotguns don't get, like, a Pierce modifier. Okay, that's... I suppose we also need to make hit location, because the shield blocks where? Jack, how many body parts was it? Yeah. He's blocked three specific oh, that, body parts. That definitely is blocked by the shield. The right forearm. <laughs> God damn it, I'm a lefty. Ooh, yeah. Wait, are you a lefty then? Are you holding the shield with your left hand? Yeah, or the... I mean, his other arm would be behind would... it. Oh, yeah. That's how you would normally hold a shield. You would hold it with your non-dominant hand. Yeah, so that you can that's what I was asking. Your... That's what I was asking, yeah. Okay. And the thing is, the shackle shields do block the arm it's holding, your chest, and... I think your leg. Yeah. Uh, body part. yeah. Okay. okay. So, uh, so I think, yeah, I guess you just take that much damage. I think my current plan is not happening. So I take that damage, or does my... The shield, uh, the shield. There was a shield. My current. I thought I thought that hit Jack, but okay. Did it hit Jack? I'm not sure. Like I thought we decided it didn't. No, typically you would have your arm, your arm that is not with the shield. Oh, so it did hit his arm. That's what I thought. So okay. What I'm going to say is because if I if I had been thinking about this sooner, I would have said that I would be blocking my head. Uh, so okay. I would say it probably so, did yeah, hit my arm. left arm, body, and then arm. Okay, that's fine. So it, no, you're blocking your left arm, your chest, and your head. Yeah. So yeah. He, he hit your right forearm. Okay. Oh, fuck. What's your arm armor? Um, my arm armor is 18. So he does. Uh, toughness mod 4, I think. All right. Yeah. Uh, let me check. Yep. Okay, so... Yeah. You take 15 wounds, and it did get a crit. <laughs> oh. So, um, I'm about roll. to use an arm. That's, that's 5d10, um, dude. Oh, God. It would take me 62 turns to get there. Okay, let me just go there. I'm at 13 health. 26 damage on your arm means minus 10 strength to arm... Yeah. So, yeah, you're minus 10 strength temporarily. Ah, uh, uh, it's a good thing I already crap that, uh, that strength anyways. And that's his turn. Actually, before his turn, he says, he'll stand down now. <laughs> Fuck on me. All right. You it's... first. So now it's Rose's turn. You, you you get blasted in the arm. You can just feel this resounding pain in your arm, Jack. But you stand vigilant and strong. All right, uh, it's Rose's I turn. I can't see them. Yeah, you can't see the guy. I'm okay. Am I 15 kilometers away or 1.5? That's 1.5. Okay, so it would take me 62 turns to get there if I ran. Um, <laughs> hmm. <laughs> a bit far away. Um. <laughs> I'm trying to think, because I can't currently see him, and I don't 
I don't think he's planning on moving. Yeah, I don't think he is. So what's your plan? Like, I'm going to assume, like, the cliff is, like, actually, like, pretty big from, like, yeah, the yeah. bottom. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty big. Like, there's, like, I, 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 there's not much I can do. Do you want to... Hmm... Mm. All right. Um, well, you could. I, I want to try. <laughs> I want to try bouncing a bullet. <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> oh dear. So okay. The question is, how would you, how would we do it? Because we we know he's over here somewhere. You do guys have support command points, by the way, or support points. Support points. They're not I immediate have though. Exactly. One of them. There's not I much think, we can use immediately. I think I think I have two. I don't know what you can get for two support points, but I don't think you can get anything. Uh, no, support points are not really the issue. More of the issue, I would say, is credits, because unless you got a stupid amount of credits, the support points are pretty much useless. Alright, and then, so what's your plan, then? Uh, um, let me go first. Look at can you... I'm trying to think how to word it. Can Rosu find out the location of the person and give it to Ryan? <laughs> yeah, make a perception check. My, a negative yeah. 10 if you do that. Actually, no, just normal flat, just flat zero modifier. I'm just, I'm I just can thinking, do that. if you can, if, it's, it's so stupid, I know, I'm sorry. But if you can find out the location of Fuck the it, person. Fuck point, I'm doing it. If you can find out the location of the person, I can, can I say that Ryan does some Spartan head math? To, like, okay, if he's there, I need to bounce this bullet. Yeah. <laughs> he's got it. Yeah, he if got he the. He critically fails. Fails. I know. I know where this man is now. Yeah, you okay, know. So, so you 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 find out where he is, like, uh, and you tell the you tell the location to Ryan. Say it's based off Jack's head cam feed. I don't know. Oh yeah, you just look in hit Jack's head cam feed. You can see him there. Or I just look. I look in the mirror. <laughs> A kilometer away. Sniper scope. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Okay, yeah, so you see in the uh, mirror. Yeah? If Ryan critically fails this roll, can he just headshot me and kill me? <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> like, he still ricochets the shot perfectly and everything, it's just it hits me instead of Ryan. <laughs> so a blind fire is minus 60. So, so would, would that be like. Q? I, I guess so. Or like, like, he fails, it goes. You? I'll see more like a of a fucking wall. I don't know. Are, are I'll see more like that. Yeah. You. Okay. Um, just go ahead and roll. Go ahead and roll. So, do I take the minus sixty from the yes. fire? Yes. And you only let me do this because Rosu passed his test. Yeah, yeah, and you can get three, three degree, like three extra little like degrees of success from his. Check. Okay, so it's a minus thirty. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not making a cool choice. It's just, who knows? <laughs> who knows? It might actually. This. Yeah, it's gonna be amazing I'm if you hit this. Die. Take all the all the things that you can. Yeah. Fucking uh, half aim. Get that plus thirty, I think. All right, go ahead and roll. No, no, I'm just making the modifiers. Um, so it's then minus thirty from that. Oh wait, it's actually it's uh it's not your turn yet though. Uh, I, I took a delay action. Yeah, but you, ben, Benson still needs to do something. Sure. He does nothing. It's your turn now. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Benson. <laughs> Thanks, Benson. You uh really uh did some work. There's there. a reason. There's a reason why I'm sacrificing my life to save you, and that's because of it. Okay, and then. Okay. Go ahead and yeah, got this. I believe in you. Oh, uh, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> I started uh, rolling just for damage. Whoops! I have to re put all that stuff back in. Re, re. So that's that. Plus that. Plus that. Plus that. Minus that. Okay. <laughs> Please, <laughs> give give me a favor. <laughs> hey. A degree. A degree. I don't agree.
So, so what were you trying to roll under? <laughs> um, just I'm can't. Sure. Avoid that. Avoid that. This is this is too cool for him to evade it. I mean, what what did what did um? I mean, how would he even know? Like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. You wouldn't know at all. So go ahead and roll damage, Ryan. I was gonna say, what was it? Vox said somewhere if you tie. <laughs> it's who has the who's the closest to the next degree of success or something. Yeah. Have a roll perception check. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. And, go ahead and uh, roll damage, Ryan. Um, because it's I'm I'm going to <laughs> willingly penalize myself because it's a bounce shot. Half damage, so I'll subtract so of like um, oh, yeah. some amount of damage off for myself. Okay. Or no, I'll two. make the roll and then half it. Yeah, what am I saying? Yeah, just divide okay, by two, so... my dude. Okay, so plus that. Also, am I just dumb or like it? Okay, yeah, I'm right. Okay, I'm not dumb. I I'm valid now. I did get one crit. <laughs> All right, go ahead. So. Um, what's that? That's 15, 17 damage. Uh huh. Um, and. 31 we'll pierce. I don't, I don't think what. I don't think anywhere that you shoot is gonna have 31 armor. Yeah. And 15. Yeah, no. I, I said I'm halved it. And then. Oh, yeah. for the 15. For the crits. Well, let's see what hit location I got. Toe. Oh, <laughs> <God. laughs> okay, so he is behind cover. Remember that. He's behind the rocks. Okay. Uh, so 17 damage. That hurts the rock. Um, you stuck through, through, through the huh? rock, I think. I think Pierce worked with cover, right? Um, it does. Okay, so I did. Yeah. That much damage. How much armor has he got on his feet? Uh, he has. He has 18 on his feet. Oof. Um, and was the rock armor? 24. Ah! I really All right. Full on that damage. Jack, it's your turn now. Wait, Maybe wait. I scare him. He hears this bullet just ping off the rock that he's hiding I mean, behind. I, <laughs> I can't shoot at him. Yeah, you. Have you a grenade? If you have a grenade, just toss it over his cover. But his arms, like, how would he do that? Because his arms are in, like shot, and his left arm's occupied at the moment. He still uses arm, he just has minus 10 strength. He can still use it, it just has minus 10 strength. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. It's as far. And, and you, it's not really a hard grenade throw, it's like literally over a Humvee in a rock. <laughs> um, he's behind cover, right? Yeah, he is behind cover. 20, well, what is it now? Is the cover destroyed or? I think the cover is destroyed. Because yeah, so it's, he has no cover at the moment. I think with the pierce and the damage that would have destroyed it, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so the rock kind of just blows up after the shot, and now it is Jack's turn. Jack, what are you doing? I am going to shoot him with my plasma rifle as soon as I pull up the stats for him. Okay, which one is it? A, it's a normal plasma rifle. Okay. I forget that the Covenant has much like cool weapons, you know? They don't have, like, specifically named... Well, yeah. I guess they do. It's just it's not listed in the book. Okay. There's no real separation. Alright, so... Rifle. Oh, I got it up. It's 2d10. I was also are you using Let's semi... See. Are you using semi or auto? I'll probably go full auto. Okay, so you, I think you roll eight two. times, right? Warfare melee or warfare range eight times. Okay, so go ahead and roll it. Um, so what I feel I feel bad about uh, rolling because I don't have all these fancy macros that you guys have. Uh, uh okay. You're bad and you should feel bad. <laughs> just go ahead and just roll like slash one d twenty or just roll this slash. Yeah, f no, don't do that. Do 1d100 less than or greater than your, your target score or your, you know, your warfare ranged, and then account yeah. for any modifiers. Eight times. Yeah. Um, so he has no arm or no cover, so that's no yeah. debuffs to it. Um, 
And I don't really think I get any benefits, so it's just a straight 58. You could spend half an action to get plus 5. But then I couldn't then get as many cards. Oh, true, okay. Yeah, fair point. So go ahead, yeah, go I ahead and roll. I think this is good enough. Yeah. All right. And then you hit locations afterwards. So that's 1, 2, 3... One, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight. What was you the only AP have. Comment? It's only, only has. Three successes. Yeah, only, no, he has. He has four successes. Where's the? Yeah. One, two, three. The first three and the. Four. Yeah. Okay. My bad. Yeah. Now roll hit location for four times. Actually, I can do that if you want. I got that macro. Okay. Small intestines. One, two, three, four. Oh, I hit him in the in the pelvis. Okay. <laughs> Very dishonorable. All right. Go ahead and roll uh, the damage. All right. So that's two d ten. How much damage would I have done to his toes? I'm just curious. <laughs> Toe damage. No, just with the he the crit damage. What? what did I? Would I have removed his toes? He seriously just watches me eating popcorn like, holy fuck. I would have destroyed his toes. No, uh, broken his toes. Plus All right, and... Toes. Oh, my that. bad. Shit. So, 16. 16. 23. Uh, what's, the, what's the plus, sorry? 15. Plus God damn it, I'm stupid. That's all damage, oh my god. 24. And, uh, 18 pierce on each shot. Okay, so 16 plus 23 plus 15 plus 24. That's 78. I just, I need the chest armor and the arm armor and the head armor. Okay, so his, which ones? Uh, give me the chest armor. Okay, let me There's pull them no. up. Let me pull them up real fast. Okay, uh, he has a chest armor of 19. Okay. Head of? 17. Okay. That's it? And the arm armor? 18. 18. Okay, uh, I'll just quickly run these, the, run the numbers. Oh okay. yeah. Um, okay. Give me a second. Did he have any cover left, or? No. And the pierce, sorry, Jack was? 18. 18. Okay. That's the first one. Oh, he dead. He big dead, Chief. Huh. Second one did the same amount of damage. Somehow. Must have put it in one. I don't know. Is that all, yeah, is that all the damage so far, or? Yeah, so far. Okay. Yeah. And then the last one to the arm did uh, that many. So he took. Yeah, he's dead. Oof. So, Jack, after getting your arm blasted, you can see you just unload like a full, like, um,. I, I burst into this guy, and he's just like completely unaware of like the technology you're using against him. And he he's like as as the hot plasma falls into his chest, he just staggers onto the like backwards. Well, not staggers, but like kind of like tumbles backwards, and then like you can see him like convulsing into pain. All right, we're out of combat now. Hey, so make, make the plasma rifle sound effect. Uh, God, I haven't played. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I can't make that noise. Yeah, don't don't you just have to go pew pew pew. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um. Tails on comms. What the fuck is happening? Because I'm assuming it was only over Jack's radio, really. That that uh, don't ignore all uh only commands. Yeah, it was only on Jack's radio. Over? It was only on Jack's. So but... Okay, gotcha. Uh, all hostiles are down. Uh, Benson's going to need some serious medical help. Ryan. Yes. 
can you get me there? <laughs> is Rosu yes. expecting a piggyback? <laughs> yeah, seriously. Yeah. Yes. I am. <laughs> there is a no, giant. Ryan. <laughs> Ryan, help. Row me. <laughs> uh, who, who here has played Titanfall? Me. I have. You mean Titanfall? Yes. Ryan. Just beam falling from the sky. Bro. Yes, I can technically carry you. You're, you will be light enough. I don't think you weigh half a ton. I don't. Me, hop in the Warthog, we're headed over. Get me there quicker. So, Go. I suppose Ryan... It's, it's an odd request, right? So, he kind of turns his helmet to look towards uh, Rose. He doesn't sort of say anything, then just... After a second of thought, just pushes to his feet and uh, slings his... No, he doesn't even sling his sniper. He just um, fucking grabs a hold of one of Rose's arms and just kind of heaves him up onto his back, I guess. I just fucking uh, grab on. Piggyback ride! <laughs> um, question. Hold on. No. Fuck all of this. Doodle, Go. can I see this happening on the canyon walls from down here? <laughs> uh, I don't... Like, the piggyback ride? Yes. We're like a mile and a half away, I don't know. Perhaps. No, we're a mile and a half from the thing. We're, st we're closer to the ca uh, canyon yeah. town. Can I see this? Yeah, I guess. I give a direct order for Rosu to walk. I need to get there quicker because there's a man that just walk. got shot. You're okay. not getting a piggyback from the Spartan. No. Okay. If you if you I'm want going to, um, Mateo, I am going to freaking contact the UNSC people who just contacted me, and I am going to get them to overrule your order. If Actually, you, do not you don't have leave to. This alone. Ryan. Keep um, your... It take, it, if there's anything I, I that has to happen, it will take Ryan 4.8 minutes, so just under 5 minutes to get yeah. there with Rosu. And it, would take, and it would take me much, much longer. And this is why I'm asking him, because I can tell he's bigger, he's probably going to run faster than me. Ah, damn it. Okay, fucking fine. Plus, <laughs> I don't even, plus, I don't even have to listen to you in this situation. It's about a medical thing. So and I, he outranks you? Yes, in this one specific location, you don't have to listen, and I probably wouldn't. So All I right. just look down at Ryan and just say, go faster. Can you not do that, please? Not the, the little arrow things? Sorry. Yes, sorry. Can I you make car that. noises while he's running over there? <laughs> so, okay, Jack, you see Benson, like, coughing out, like, I guess coughing with a broken jaw. You just see blood, like, just... Pew, pew. You know what I mean? It's going to be on his mouth. His leg, like... We're under fire! The fire starts to die down a bit, actually. Because uh, he said pew, pew. He thought you were talking like... Uh, oh, not, not like bullet down. fire. No, sorry. But he... But there is still um smoke around the... I just need to leave the smoke. Whoops. There's still smoke around the... The, the warthog. And he says... I... Kill... He can't really speak, actually, to be honest. Uh, I mean, he technically still speak with a broken jaw, just some. Do you do you know different. sign language? I, I don't. So know he sign he language. points. You know he, sign language. He points um to Franz's corpse and points like down. Um, I can move twice as quick apparently by hurrying, but I'll have to take a toughness test otherwise I take uh fatigue. Okay. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead and make it. No, go ahead and make a check, uh, um, Ryan, um, for running fast. Okay. So he he points at Franz yeah, and I, then he points I, down. I, I, so it yes. It's more like two and a half minutes. Yeah, yeah. And yes, he does, Jack. And um, uh, by now, I'm gonna say like a narrative time. By the time that you get there, Ryan, the other two will get there just so just for ease. Did they drive in another vehicle? Yeah, are you guys driving in another vehicle? Yeah, uh, I told V, hop in the Warthog, we're, okay. yeah, we're headed to there. Alright, there's your vehicle. Does Franz have something on him that I need to get, Benson? He... 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 he, he, he shrugs and says, Okay, 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 get something. I'm talking with your mouth open, only. His mouth is hanging off. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, that's how you sound. He's tired of doing that. His, his, he, his jaw is hanging 
He can't talk. I don't think you understand that, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> he literally oh, cannot man. talk. He is making sounds you... with his throat. Can you tell me when Rain right Rain gets there in the so sand. I can start doing a uh, right, right, right over in the sand. What you want me to do? <laughs> I cannot he, understand he shrugs. you. He shrugs. Uh, what are you saying, uh, Rozu? Uh, just tell me as soon as me and Ryan get there. So yeah, I'll... you guys are there. Uh, let me yeah, put so you guys. Like this man I, am spell. I immediately start moving people away, and just start setting shit up because I'm not having this man die. So yeah, it takes a uh, two and a half minutes. So yeah, you guys, there. you guys are here, and then now, now Beatrice and Mateo are here. So what are you saying, uh... Jack? Sorry. You, so you see, you see your what? two friends, and one of them's massive. Immediately, bag goes down. I pull out a thing and slam it on the ground, and a bubble goes out. All right. Uh, Stereo field generator, motherfucker. Uh, I'm just gonna fucking start doing medication tests at this point. Yeah, yeah, do medication tests. Why is everyone so big? Because we went to scale uh, with Jack, so I scaled them up. Oh, I thought Jack was on scale. What? Oh, no, no, Jack was. They weren't on scale. Like, Jack was we bigger. On Jack's scale. Uh, ah. any, Jack's any just a big dude. Any minuses from um stuff? Uh, yeah. Actually, no, no minuses. Okay, then I currently have a plus. Okay, hold on, I have to go look for my input. Uh, five, here I'm gonna do some quick ten. private uh messaging. As in, Jack's or not Jack's, Ryan's helmet gets a secret little message. Uh, six degrees of success. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. So you you stabilize his leg at least. Uh, what do you want to do at uh, at the body of the guy of Franz? I guess I'll roll a perception check. Um, yeah, roll a perception check. Minus 10. Do you want more, or...? Yeah, I do want more, actually, Rosie. I'm just trying to, like, organize. Like, I, I, I'm i trying to, like, focus on two places at once. It's all good. It's all good. I, I just want to make sure. Oof. So as you go to the uh, jaw, it looks pretty bad, yeah. and you just say, like, yeah, that's uh, not... Give me, give me one second. Oh, I, I can do something. This is my final one. Okay. I'm lucky in this one. So, all right. I now have a plus 25, and I rolled the exact <laughs> same thing. You, you rolled an 88. Jesus. All right, so you see him, like, he's near the verge of death, and his and his mouth is, like, there's just blood gushing from his open, like, jaw. That doesn't make sense. Oh, it doesn't make sense. 1367, dude. Okay, yeah, it makes sense. Yes. Never mind. So you see, you see, like... Benson's like, like he's in. Is he in threat of dying at the moment? Yes, he is. He's like one minute, away, like less than a minute away from dying. Evac. I'm also. Oh, I have certain drugs. Hold on. Okay. Drugs I have drugs. Okay. I have, okay. I have a lot of things to help with this. Uh, so biofoam, and what else was it? Polypseudomorphine. Yeah. Yes, there we go. That's what it is. I, I have I have it all like listed down here. Um, so the biofoam will stop him bleeding, no matter where it's from. It's going to it's probably going to be bad, but he doesn't have a jaw at the gonna, moment. Yeah, he's he's probably going to shove it right in his mouth. So <laughs> UNSC um, does approve your request for an evac, and they're on the way. Um, um, is that I'm is that all? Setting his, I'm setting his jaw in a magnetic splint. Okay. Um. No, he doesn't I'm even like. I'm, when I say on hinge, I mean his jaw is not there. Oh, okay. What, <laughs> what I thought. What you meant you could have just said, said that he's missing his jaw. I thought that was yeah. obvious when I say on hinge. Like it was just broken. Oh. That, like, I, I thought. I thought you meant it was like hanging down. No, it's gone. Like yeah. his. Like kind of like the Witcher, the ghost, where it's like. Oh, fuck. You don't see it. You can just see his okay. tongue, like. On his neck. No, no, do I see it? Like, if I look over into the, like, wreckage, do I see no, it? No, that's what I'm saying. You can't see it. You don't see it nearby. Fuck yeah. <laughs> me. Uh, oh, there's a joint's gonna super glue him. This, this, is, this is going to help him more than anything. I'm knocking him out like... some fucking, uh... Oh, God, what... With a two-by-four, I... B has another health pack, and you need more meds. Like, I'm, I'm repeating um... this, but... I feel like we should have rolled some courage checks after that. Actually, yeah, um, we are doing that afterwards. <laughs> uh -huh, not me, motherfuckers. I'm cynical. You're, you're welcome, everyone. Alright, so... I'm cynical? I'm immune to battlefield horrors. 
Yeah, so okay. Yeah. I, I'm also cynical because I get it. I get it from being a medic. All right. So Rosie, do you want to do any more medical things, or should I move on? Yeah, like that, Ryan. Like that, Ryan. Hold on. I'm I'm grabbing a certain drug. It basically just knocks him out for a certain amount of hours. All right. But I don't remember the name of it. We need to secure the area. We need to make sure nobody comes and fucks with anything before we back this guy. So yeah, they. And Mateo's walking over to Jack. What the fuck happened over here, man? Uh, so okay. Need to be a bit more specific because a lot just happened. So as you, as that conversation. So he's getting some dermacotic steroids, and the last thing I can do for him, which is, eh, but I literally just inject him with a. Uh... Yeah, he's he's pretty knocked out at the moment, but yeah, let me. He, he's just knocked out, and I'm just trying to keep him alive at this point. Uh huh. Um. So over by Franz's body. Um, as before Mateo comes up and as Rose is doing this stuff, you notice on him, he does, he is carrying some form of identification. He does not, and his name is not German. It is. Why the hell were you pretending to be German? Can you stop resizing the models? But I'm a total boy. Okay, fine. Okay, so his, <laughs> his name is Ottoman. Ottoman Turk. Okay. And he says he's said that before. Turk the entire time. And his um he's section he's section zero Oni. Fuck. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, well, to answer your question, uh, Sarge. Uh, well, it looks like they got into a crash. Benson. Well, you saw what happened to Benson. Friends got out and decided to open fire on him. I got orders to not kill Benson from UNSC High Command and to ignore any and all orders from Oni. Franz said that he was uh, Oni and told me well, to I'm stand down. Uh, Franz said that he was Oni and ordered me to stand down, but UNSC High Command told me not to. Um, quick question for you, dude. Yeah? Um... Who exactly introduced uh, Ryan to us? Oni. And that's where we bring us to our next part. So, this. Ryan, in your helmet feed, you get us. you get... you get a command from Agent Lockwood. Oh, no. Oh no. Confiscate Benson's data oh. chip. <laughs> Not his jaw, his data chip in his pocket. Okay. And at the moment uh, and as you look and you look over to where Benson is and you see like Rozu kinda of operating on him, what do you want to do? Um it sends you know, like an like If you step anywhere near him, Rosie's gonna fucking yell at you and tell you to back the fuck off. Well, how do you know? No, he's just doing. Oh, he's doing his job. Yeah, of course. I thought he was okay. Oh, my yes. bad. Yeah, he's just doing his job. Um, yes, yeah, so, um, As you approach, no. um, Ryan has no the ship. He just steps up beside um, uh, KO'd Benson, takes a knee, and just puts his uh, gauntleted hand into the guy's pocket, pulls out the I chip, would and ask you to leave quickly stores... so I can continue working. Like, he just. But kind of blanks Rosu, but he takes out the chip and then just stores it in one of his uh, soft, case, soft cases. And then. Would be realizing or no. uh, uh, now it would be. Now it would be. Should we roll perception checks? Yeah, you two can roll. You two can roll perception checks. But, but Beatrice, what do you want to do? And you two can roll perception checks at minus 10. Oh, fuck. Oh, me. that would still be a success. The area. Now, off of that last investigation check. And instead of finding the jaw, we're just gonna say she finds a pretty rock. Okay. <laughs> you find a you find an obsidian stone. Ooh, Ooh a rock. Guys, I found obsidian. That was... You can make a knife of it. All right. All right. So, so that would still be a success, but it wouldn't be it wouldn't have a degree to it. Yeah. And okay. And Hold then on. Mateo. Okay. I'm looking at luck options. 
I mean, Ryan wasn't told to be subtle about it. He yeah, he wasn't told to secretly. So he just yeah, he just walked up to yeah. Him, so that's, like, that's why that's why I'm not having you I, do I it. I literally saw saw him do it. So yeah. yeah so I, like... The thing for me as well is just my perception is so shit that if I don't do something involving luck, I'm not gonna succeed. <laughs> Beatrice creates an obsidian jaw for for Benson. Yes. <laughs> I mean, you can have a prosthetic jaw. They have those okay. in here. I'm going to do a. I'm going to spend luck to get an additional t uh, plus twenty, which is just going to be a plus ten effectively, which yeah. means a forty-six. Oh okay. yeah. Please, for the love of God. Is it a forward slash or a... It's a forward uh, slash. Always, always forward, forward slash, okay. I, uh, some other places I know it's a um, exclamation point. <laughs> Jaw and obsidian. God right, damn it. But, but do I roll? Am I good to roll? Yeah, you can roll. Are you looking for the jaw and obsidian? Are you looking for the jaws? <laughs> you, you find a tooth. <laughs> Professional ODST, everyone. Oh, so underneath the rocks, you see like bones, like my like, kind of like just cr crushed, like underneath like the car, like you find you find a little obsidian next to the obsidian, you see a little jaw. It's in two pieces, but you find the jaw. Oh wow! <laughs> Big man, I need his jaw so I can on at some point or do something with it. She comes out from under the car. I, or no, no, she literally crawls under the car. Comes out the other side and is like, I got the jaw. Quick oh, question. Gosh. Could yeah. this be the moment, as soon as B comes out from under yeah. the car, could this be the moment when we confront Ryan about, like, like when... <laughs> it's up to you guys. It's up to you guys. I mean, if you he want... Just, I like, pumps the jaws <laughs> because she's stuck under the car. And by the way, as you guys are talking, the ship, the, the Pelican begins to land for the evac. As, Ru as Rosu said, I did it right in front of them. I wasn't trying to be subtle, so like they can yeah, question no, it if they want. Also, it's about a confront, confront thing. How big is a? Uh... How strong are you? How strong am I? Did you say? Yes, I I'm literally just asking you. Off of the I, I just gave you a piggyback over a kilometer yes, and a half. Yes, no, but that, that doesn't that doesn't answer me because it, it I, he needs an answer to the question. Um, I, I, um, Ryan doesn't give you a specific. Like number, I can I can bench this. No, um, but I oh, guess he big, says this is probably big strong enough. Uh, okay, I should ask. Do I know if it's standard practice for, um, what we call it, uh, stretchers on pelicans? Uh, in this case, medical, in this case, it would be. Evacs? Okay. Yeah, it is. Um, yes, I, I I mean I mean I know it should be, but sometimes Halo. Doesn't make sense. Fair so enough. I, I wanted to ask because I, I didn't want to be like, hey, we now have to move him by hand. That he's at the point where, as a medical professional, Rosie would be like, okay, he's not supposed to move at all. Like we could probably pick him up and set him down, but after that, I'm not letting him like walk another step. All right. It's supposedly twice as long, but I don't think we need to be finicky. Yeah. Yeah. I was trying to like it's right scale, but I was working that well. Be so and, uh, like, under the warthog and just dust herself off and is like, ah, I'm almost stuck. <laughs> Jack, what are you doing about Put that him in a bag? That up? What? Jack, what are you doing about him? Uh, yeah, you did see it. You did see him pockets. put something in his pocket or taking out from, hey, from... Uh, Ryan. I didn't realize uh, you, you had pockets on that armor. Uh, what, what did you just pick up? I have soft, I, I do have straps on um, tactical soft. Pouches or whatever they're called. So, um, oh, okay. He does have he does have pockets. Um, um, what, so what was your question again? What what did? What what did you just pick up there? Orders. I'm going to. Uh, I'm actually going to. Uh, what what kind of orders? Like like on, Chinese uh, takeout? Uh, Indian. Do you try to cover for him, actually. Uh. uh I gotta make sure deception can be rolled off of a different Please, Steve. Um. Uh, if you're going to stand there, can two of you go get the stretcher? Because no one's going to be coming out. Oh, yeah. Someone, actually, yeah, people are... Now. We're arguing. We're, we're not just standing here. We're arguing. So, yes, he's a goddamn narc. 
Rosu doesn't really yeah. fucking care. Uh, so two two marines come out with like medic marines come out with stretchers and they take Benson away. I will go with them thing. as I've been working on him. All right. Sorry about that. At the whole thing with orders and him picking something up, Mateo's hand very subtly but noticeably, if you're looking for it, kind of goes to his shotgun. And wow. out from the 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 pelican, you see Brander come out. Let me just get his art real quick. What would be a sleight of hand check? Uh, I believe oh. it would just. Let me check. Uh, there is a sleight of hand skill, isn't there? Yeah, there is. Isn't there like a? <laughs> no, there's a sleight. Scrap on the right. Why is it attached um, to nothing? It's just the limits of XCOM. That's part of uh, the customization option that comes with those uh, soft pouches. Oh. So, so there's like another pouch somewhere, but it's like. Yeah, it's there's probably pouch. Basically, they right. they have pouches strapped all over them. Ah. Probably he probably has like ammo magazines duct taped to him. So you see Brander come out of the vehicle, or of the uh, Pelican, and he approaches you guys, but doesn't say anything. Oh, hey, it's the Oni guy. Nope, that's Walkwood. No, that's not the Oni guy. The Oni guy is black. That's, that's, so he I says guess. he says orders right, and Mateo uh, after Jack says uh, almost at the same time that Jack says like what kind of orders, Mateo is also saying orders from who? Hi, hi I mean, you, who were the orders from? Agent Lockwood Sorry. specifically. Um, from from he just says from command. Who in command? So B can B is gonna try it, but note she has a 16 charisma. Oh my god! <laughs> because uh, sleight of hand uses deception, and deception uses charisma. Fair enough. So. What's Beatrice trying to do? Steal it from him? I didn't, didn't hear what she said. But okay. I thought she said cover for you. Oh, yeah. cover for me. Oh, lad. <laughs> All right, go ahead and roll. I'll give you a plus ten since it's a cool idea. Twenty-six. <laughs> yeah, twenty-six. If you have a quarter chance. But if you spend a luck before, you can get that to forty-six. Oh, and that's uh, that's less than half. Bet. All right. So you guys want to continue arguing, or you guys want to roll the die first? Gonna, I can gonna... say this would be happening at the same time. Yeah, so go ahead and like keep keep going. Oh. So keep 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 arguing, you two, you you so, three. Uh, yeah, who in command are those orders from? B uh. B. Depolarizes her visor while looking at Ryan and just kind of winks and turns around and goes, "This for me." I told him to help me find Shiny Rock. <laughs> he was about to say something, but then he just sort of turns his head to look at Beatrice and just... You can't see it, but he would have a confused face like, what? She pulled out one Shiny of rocks, of eh? And is just like... Uh, well, he still got it in his pocket. I didn't see him uh, giving it to you, so why don't you let us uh, see that shiny rock? It's because I stole it from him, you jackass. How blind are you? <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Sorry to say, <laughs> but I lies. doubt... This isn't I the greatest win. of lies, to be honest. <laughs> I, I doubt just... that you'd be able to steal anything from him, to be honest. Brander's just kind of standing there like, like what the hell's happening? What, is, what has happened? Commander Brander, he picked something up from the... from Benson. A rock from the ground? A rock from the ground. Got it. Yeah. I doubt that. <laughs> Highly. I got it right here. He looks at your rock and sees the obsidian stone you picked up from earlier. Oh, shiny rock. <sighs> Whatever. Look, we're looking around for something important. Uh, I'm sure... Got the smart AI here. You got a smart AI? Good. That's we were looking for that thing. Uh, we're more so worried about the... The the other thing. Uh, we'll, we'll expand on the ship on the way there. And on the ship itself. But we cannot... He looks at Francis or Ottoman's corpse. Yeah, we probably should be um, quick about it. What was that about ignoring commands from Moni? 
Well, I'll explain it all on the ride here. We just need to get out of here. Benson's nearly dead, and I don't know. We should probably get going. I mean, not nearly. I've been working on him. He said, shut up. We gotta go. Yeah, I, I am saying I that whole... Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. Oni... I was saying that whole ignoring Oni thing. While walking. That, uh, yeah, in hopes that uh, Ryan would be like... What was that about ignoring Oni? Did we all get that notification anyway? I thought only, that only, no, only Jack, Jack only did. It. Jack only got yeah, it. So even then, like I, I wasn't told to ignore Oni, so you know. All right, so we're back you on the. Ignore Oni. <laughs> only listen to Rosu. Rosu is the best. Fuck me, this is gonna end up like. <laughs> so if... on the flight there, he sits down and it kind of starts to, like, put his he puts his hand on his on his forehead and he goes, oh god. Uh, it's pretty bad. So, f to begin with, the fox that we captured died in prison. He was shot in the head. Died? Wink, wink. No, he's, he's actually dead. <laughs> oh, fuck. No, he's actually dead. No, <laughs> what killed him? I think it was the bullet to the brain. And we suspect, and the camera footage does show Oni agents, including Lockwood, going in there and just shooting him. Okay. <laughs> and. Isn't that a breaking of uh, several rules? It is the breaking of several rules. We suspect there to be something. Let's much just say, bigger much bigger at mine, and I don't think Oni is intentionally involved with. Ryan, um, and how? Go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. If those, uh, if whoever gave you those orders uh, happens to be working with Oni, they have obviously uh, broken a lot of different laws uh, regarding prisoners, and well, Wait. I'm. Assuming you knew him pretty well, so, uh, you know, they just killed one of your friends, uh, so maybe it would be best if you ignored what they told you, whatever it was. No, he's, he's UNSC, he's not Oni. Hey, let talk about Lockwood, uh, the order that yeah. Ryan received from Lockwood. Oh, okay, I see, my bad. Because although B did lie convincingly, she also said she took the rock from him, which we never saw him light. She never, we never saw her touch him, and that's he also the, did say the command was from, or that the whatever he did was from command. Oh, that's was it? Yeah. Okay, that I was, thought it was for the charisma part. Oh, no, that, right. that was the charisma. So, like, deception. But he did say something about a command from, well, or something from command. So. All right. Yes, I see. We still so, have like. Uh, and. Yeah. Maybe. maybe it would be best if you just showed us what the hell you picked up. Because right now, I don't think any of us can trust Oni. And he says, and then Agent Longford says, and how Benson is involved in this is that Benson, well, he did know some stuff about this whole situation, but we don't know what it is because we don't have the, the, the files he kept. And Irwin does know the files. But we suspect Irwin to be corrupted and, and like, data corrupted. So the video was of Lockwood killing Frank. Yes, like, a Frank, Roger. yes, there's a video, literally, there's a video that he shows you guys where it's just, Lockwood walks in there and just takes out a fucking magnet and just points it and shoots at foxes in the head. Is it doxed? Is it faked? Yeah, he just got I'm faked. i Judge Dredd uh, vibes from this. Analyze. No, this is actually Judge Dredd where, like, the two other judges show up and they're like, put your weapon I down. I take it Steve, you know, fully believes this. Uh, he doesn't care to, you know, yeah, oh, I'm like. I'm analyzing the video footage. <laughs> That's fair. I'm definitely on the fuck Oni wave. In, in any we other already... situation, if it wasn't Oni, I would be analyzing it. But this is Oni has yeah. fucked over our um, a couple dozen times. We know Oni isn't uh, a bunch of bad apples. There's no reason that they wouldn't pull something like this. Would it be an Doodle. Although, actually, no. Line of thinking as well. This is a little sloppier than they would do, so... Would it be yeah, he's... Or perception to assess the video? Yeah, it'd be, it'd be uh, the latter, not percept. Okay, so would it be tech? A tech roll? Yeah, it'd be a tech roll as well to see the video. Like, you can do a tech roll or, like, a investigation roll. Dude, I have some... 
background questions. Yeah, go ahead. So does Ryan only know Lockwood through Operation Trojan Horse and yes. his assignment, like full yes. assignment now? Okay. Yes, that's the only reason why you know who he is. Okay. And. Okay. Thank you. I'll get that in a second. Any other questions? Um, I was gonna say, do I, what do I know of him then? If I knew him better, but since I've only known him loosely, I guess. I, I know he's only, so I know he's a bit slippery. So yeah. That's about it. Um, and Ben, do you have any more questions for him? Or, like, can you just, yeah. I mean, that I, I do, but I technically can't ask because I'm working on someone, trying to make them not die. Okay, um, okay, so you guys arrive on the ship, and then, like, you guys are heading out, and the continue, conversation continues. You guys take Ben's and all the stretcher. But, yeah, continue. Just investigating the footage to see if it's doctored. At all. So the footage used. Okay, I forgot to answer that. My bad. Uh, the footage you see is legitimate. Nothing's tampered. But the video does cut as soon as Lockwood enters, and the next thing you see is him with a gun, and then Fox is on the ground with a bullet in his head, or like a big so bullet. It is yeah, I mean, like, I yeah, mean, I mean, I, I, like, if somebody else could have pulled the trigger, is so what we're they, getting they've at. cut out the actual murder, is what you're saying. Yes, they cut out the murder, but everything else looks legitimate. B brings that up. You know, why would Oni cut out their own dirty work of their security tapes? He Possible says, we. He, somebody else could have pulled the trigger. Ben, uh, Mariner continues, we don't, we don't know if it was truly Oni or if these guys are acting on their own, on their own accord. She has her helmet off <coughs> on a chair, and she's kind of scratching her chin. Really, they're setting up uh, old boy Lockwood for the death of this guy. They Listen. He acted rogue and then cut ties, and there he goes. He could be acting on orders, and this could be all in the interest of uh, better be at Taj, whatever the, their tagline is today, and we wouldn't know. Listen, all I know is that whenever I was down there and I was protecting Benson, Franz, who is a confirmed Oni agent, was telling me to stand down so he could kill Benson. And I who... don't think this is just a, a rogue person. I think Oni is pull, trying to pull something here. They're That's trying okay. to clean up their dirty work. We're on the same trail, or the same thought thing, dude. Yes, we are thinking the exact same thing. But why would it just cut to after the deed's been done when this is footage telling us not to trust Lockwood? Ryan realizes no one's just asked the question yet. He turns um, his head to Commander Branda, still love that name, and, and just goes, um, Sir, where is Lockwood now? We know. He says, Lockwood has vanished from the ship a ship came by last um a couple hours like before we sent you out on the mission and he's gone several of the owning agents on board have left alongside some engineering staff now obviously this compute it makes ryan curious because lockwood was asking for the chip so how can he get the chip if he's left <laughs> ryan is probably intrigued. would have had it a dead drop um, yeah, drop did, being where you leave it at a location for somebody else to get it. Okay. Um, okay, that's, that's fair. I was just... She just plays with her obsidian pieces and just kind of, like, rolls them around in her hand. Just kind of... So, do you guys have any more what? questions for... Yeah? What was the other thing you were trying to get besides the AI? The data the chip. Files. The files. The files. Yeah, he said that already, I think. The, the files, files yeah, the did. files have something. Oni refused to tell us what it was, but they said they have that like we suspect there's something on Benson that he acquired. So is it something so on Benson, eh? Yes, so something on Benson. Go ahead. So he asked the then. Do I have the AI chip? Because I thought Steve got no, that I from the, the computer. You have the chip that was in his pocket, which is I just have files. a I have a currently unknown content data. Yes, chip. you do. Gotcha. Okay. I thought I had the AI chip, but no, now I understand. 
No, Mateo has the Erwin, and then Erwin's like kind of inactive, and then you have you have the unknown contents. Gotcha. Just wanted to clarify. Okay. So you guys, you guys make it to like the the bridge, and and Benson seems fine, Rozu. Uh, I mean, alive, I should say, not fine, but not gonna I'm, die. Uh, he seems stabilized. Yeah, he's stabilized. He's stabilized, but like, how stabilized? Is it like stabilized where like I could leave and? Then, like, yeah, you can leave. You can, you can leave. Twenty minutes later, he might go under again, and we might have to do surgery again. Or is it like he's stable and he'll probably stay stable for a while? The latter. He's he's gonna stay stable for a while. Um Is there anyone on the medical staff that I actually like know there? Uh it's up to you, but yeah, after some spending some time there you do know most of them. They're pretty competent, so uh would you say there was anyone I'd be like Yeah trusting in? You like you, you trust like, uh like, is it... like really knows their job. Yeah, as Doctor Isabel, not like, you know, the medical like scientist professional there uh, does understand the job, pretty, and she's very confident in what she does. Uh, is she there currently? Yes, yeah, she is. Uh, I am going to ask her to watch over this man while I go get out of military uniform and come back. Okay. Because honestly, I don't know what the fuck's going on right now, but I don't trust this man to not be killed or die at some point. Okay. Well, on this ship. Okay, so. She says, got it. And then uh, she goes to attend uh, Benson. Now you return to the bridge where everyone else is at. Yes. All right. Uh, Back I, at the bridge. I, I will tell them when I get there, I'm not staying here long. I need a pa I have a patient I need to look after, but let's make this quick. All right. So y'all all, you, now you enter into the room. Everyone is here. Mateo's mostly been quiet during this whole thing. The, the whole ship ride, he looked more like he was thinking, and uh, he's still kind of keeping to himself right now. He's trying to piece together what all is happening. Rosie does a flip. Okay. Roll agility. Rosie does a flip. <laughs> Roll agility, break neck. Hold on. So, clearly, since we're on a ship, I get a, a plus 100. <laughs> What's strange to me is Benson is almost definitely in any though because he was looking up. Matter. He was looking up. Um, because he was looking up um, various terrorist-related images. Although that could have been set up by Franz. Now that I think about it. But what I was is there a reason for him having to infiltrate like what he's doing? Um, Benson's currently in the room. Actually, I think his picture up real fast. We need the files. That's... Wait, ben Benson's in the room? No, Benson. Uh, Brander. Sorry, I was just like, I was, I was thinking I was about like, Benson. He's thinking of the name that I was saying and yeah. Get it. By the way, Jack. Uh, <laughs> hope that picture He's I posted in. He's just a head. <laughs> <laughs> it's a disembodied head. He's just floating around the room. Hold on, I can I fix you this. You hurt you when you disembodied face. <laughs> okay, keep going, keep going, guys, keep going. Stop being distracted by Ben's or by Brander's oh, yeah, amazing Mateo looks. Mateo is Mateo is now wondering all of this aloud. He's like, so he's almost definitely an Indian, unless he was being set up by those who had infiltrated his organization. When I was on his computer, there were various terrorist-related informations, even www.anarchistcookbook.com on there. Hey, that's a cool website, the Leave that website alone. Um, I mean, nothing, nothing, none at all. He was trying to take. He was trying to make sure others took the fall for him. Unless he wasn't. Dun, dun, dun. Honestly, we don't know enough without those files. Brand Brander says, Ryan, what's on the files? What what's on the files? Well, we don't know he has them. We know he has oh. something that he's not letting us see, but... I showed you it was the rock. Man, y'all are dumb. Hand over the rock, he it's... says. Be hands over both rocks. <laughs> B, it. why are you like defending I told you. Nobody believes I can do it. Ryan, I did it, didn't I? He gives you back the rocks. <laughs> Very frustrated. <laughs> I'm winning today. <laughs> oh, dear. All right. Um... 
B, why are you a narc? Stop! Ryan's having a little bit why of a conflict of interest. With Oni's things, B? Why are you we don't know. Benson. Brander says we don't know if Benson even had what I'm looking for, what, what you know, he is looking for. B kind of shrugs and holds her hands, palm placed in the ceiling, and says, Look, I'm going to be real with you all. Let's be theoretical and say, maybe. Mr. Robot took the thing that everyone wants right now. Who do you trust to hold the thing from the black bag teams? One of us. Us. Boy. Or genetically engineered whatever the fuck Mr. Robot is. Honestly, I trust me, you, and Jack more than I trust I'm anybody else on this ship right now. Oh, what about me? <laughs> no, I, I, I'm talking about also <laughs> ability as well. The three of us have gone through a lot of missions, alright? I feel slightly point. offended, but... Brander's I offended don't... too. Brander's offended too. He's yeah, part no, of the no, team. No, <laughs> Brander's a veteran of the insurrectionist war. Jesus. B yeah, points... so am I. Fuck off. B points at Ryan. It says we dealt with one of them, and they outsmarted me. Which means <laughs> he probably Ooh. could do the same. There's something else in his head that lets him think different than us. He probably needs that to deal with Owen. The fact is, he's also a part of the team, and he's not showing us whatever he has. Which is making him, or which is making me, as I'm also saying this, I'm turning around and facing Ryan. He's just stood here with his arms him crossed. even less. <laughs> now, what do you have, Ryan? I trust him. Y'all can be dicks. Um. Ah! Oh, you're putting a, you're putting a charisma boy on the spot. <laughs> so what I miss? Sorry, I I to talk to my barking dog. We all had an argument, and B is vouching for Ryan, but no one else likes it. <laughs> um, I'm just I'm just trying to think exactly how he'll he would realistically respond in this circumstance. Ryan, just show us what you have. Okay, Oni is obviously... Oni isn't even on the ship anymore. They've abandoned the ship. We're working for the UNSC. We are not working Rosu. for Oni. Rosu. The less we know, the less likely they are to hit us. Rosu. I don't give a shit if they hit us. We need to know all the you're information. You're being paged by uh, Elizabeth, the uh, doctor. Uh, okay, is it like a, uh... Or it's urgent thing, uh, like call, like paging. Yeah, I'm gonna go pick it up, and I'm just gonna say, you guys figure this fucking out, I have a patient. I just turn if around and fucking after... leave. B, if they come after the three of us, with the shit we've been through... <laughs> I'm gonna rush my way back to the So as you rush down, Rozu, uh, you, you hear, like, on the, on the pager itself, like, the radio... You hear mm -hmm. someone just walked in and shot Benson. God damn it. Now, is this over do they, wide? Because do they, I think do they not have something that's over ship wide. Do they not no. have security in the medical bay? Surely they would. He Lenny was face. the one that weapons shot them. Yeah, a weapon's discharge on the ship in a place that a weapon is not supposed to be discharged. I think this would be like a ship wide, like, somebody's doing something they're not allowed to be doing kind of thing. Oh, you'll see. Listen, B, you can be as complacent as you want, but I'm not going to let Oni get away with any more of this bullshit. Rosu. So what are you going to do? Like, you're, you're now in the medical room and you see a dead body. I'm uncommon the entire body and be like, party and being like, uh, hey, there's a murderer on the ship. You should lock it all down. Immediately. Alright. B just kind of points out like, like, she just typed, we aren't going to keep up with a kill team of Ryan's. And now with this revelation, she goes, Bing! Give it to him. With us beside him, we have the most likely chance of getting out of a kill team of I'm his I'm going to go ask Ilaba uh, Isabel uh, what she saw. If she saw okay. the face, or if anyone else did, or if it was just one of those, the person is shot from somewhere. and then Yeah, so she says, like, like, we came back and he had knife wounds in his stomach and into his heart. Uh, uh, I specifically asked her to keep... 
I told a doctor to go in there and. She's supposed to do. She's not really combat trained. She's a scientist. Well, I just should have taken shifts. God damn it! I just meant like. I, I didn't even mean to stay out this long. I was gonna go get changed and be back. Can you uh not do that? Sorry. Oh yeah, you you can still see that. I forgot about that. I have yeah. some high colors. Um. Yeah. Uh. So. Uh. And. As you guys and Ryan, Ryan. Actually, Rosu, go ahead. Do your thing. Uh. No. No. Go. No. 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 I. I I'm. I'm away for you since. This is kind of uh, I'm, I'm gonna do this later thing. It, it, it's kind of a complicated thing, so you you might want to just. No, but I might do my end of the session, so I think you should do what you want to do first. Uh, well, what what I'm going to be doing is looking over him, seeing what type of static wound it is, seeing if I can match the shape of the weapon, blah 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 blah. That's why I said it's complicated, so it okay. might be better until I okay. hold off until the next session. Okay, so as as you guys all like hear that Benson's been stabbed to death twenty eight times. A very specific number. In the bridge, you see a very large shape come come out of uh, slow space or space travel. You see a good friend of yours, the Covenant, come into the system. And Brander's like, Brander is now screaming like, no, 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 not now, not now. Throws her arms up, and I bet you it was just cute cat videos on that fucking USB anyway. <laughs> USB and that's dead by this century. And that's where we're gonna leave the session off for today, folks. Having a good one.